I'm now joined by John Blant, head of cybersecurity strategy at Snowflake, and Cyrus Thibbs, CISO at PennyMac. Gentlemen, great to have you both on the program here today. Great to be here, excited, thanks here. for having me. Cyrus, as one of the largest mortgage lenders in the U.S., serving more than 4.8 million homeowners, I'm sure there's a lot of data that PennyMac ingests and analyzes on a daily basis. How is PennyMac using the AI data cloud specifically for cybersecurity to ensure that data is safe and secure? Yeah, I mean, there are three really large overarching trends that drove us to kind of start using Snowflake. So one is when uh, the whole world started going to cloud, data volumes just exploded. So the traditional you know, security data management platforms of the past became extremely expensive. Uh, and so you had to figure out better cost effective ways to scale. The second major trend is that when you were going in cloud, everyone kind of went from sort of this uh, uh, kind of custom, unique uh, on-prem infrastructure to now sort of this undifferentiated cloud infrastructure. So you had to move from kind of building all your signal to kind of buying your signal because you can now go, now you're kind of there's this this undifferentiated cyber technology you need to be able to support. And then uh, lastly, you know the it's the people aspect. Like in cybersecurity, one of our biggest challenges is trying to fill the people gap and you know moving away from you know proprietary platforms where you had to find a very small number of specialized people to more of an open platform where you know you're finding people that are strong in you know data and you know python sql and cyber uh, it allows you to democratize the technology a lot better so we're analyzing you know huge volumes of data and i'm kind of out of the uh, the moral hazard of being afraid to add data into my security stack to where now I'm seeking out as many use cases as I can get to try to build as much value into our program. So we're super excited and have had a lot of success with our data cloud journey. Great perspective, thank you Cyrus. John, how does the AI data cloud help companies like PennyMac gain a single source of data truth for all of their cybersecurity data? And can you share some examples and use cases? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the journey that Cyrus and Penny Mac have been on is a common journey amongst our our customers. They, you get a, a certain level of frustration with your existing monolithic sim, and costs get out of control, the explosion of data volumes in cloud, and you need to look for other uh, other approaches. And one of the first things you realize in going to like a data-centric strategy on Snowflake is that you no longer have to compromise on the data you collect. I think Cyrus, you said you more than double the amount of security data you get visibility into by moving into the strategy. And you can also don't have to compromise on how long you keep that data around for investigations. And you know, not having to make those compromises are really, really valuable for security organizations because no one wants to you know, filter out data that they might have right. needed. Um, Next is they kind of leaned on our ecosystem. So uh, they're, they're users of Hunters, one of our connected app uh, SIM partners. And we, we see customers you know, utilizing that for threat detection, incident response, and you know, Penny Mac's done well with them. But also, uh, they still have access to all the raw data. So Cyrus's threat hunters, and if they need to do forensic investigations, the full fidelity data is there. Um, and then you know you move to you mentioned like democratizing data. I think that's a big one where in the past if you bought a security solution, that data is only really usable through that security tool. Sure, you can export data, but then you have data movement costs. You lose governance. The normal things that happens. Uh, when it's in Snowflake, other teams can start to build things on the tools they like. So I know you had teams that are getting into Streamlit. Absolutely. Um, you know, there's probably other native data tools that you use across the organization as well. And there's no really barrier for the, the rest of the enterprise to use that data. It's not locked into uh, you know, a specific uh, security application. Great to hear, John. The AI buzz is all around us here at Snowflake Summit. How is AI accelerating how cybersecurity teams should be thinking about their data environments and use cases? And are you noticing any trends across organizations? Cyrus, would love your thoughts. Yeah, I, I think AI is really going to uh, unlock a lot of potential both for threat actors and for uh, cyber teams. So it just kind of accelerates the cat and mouse game. Uh, I think the explainability of your data to actually take better view of like what you have is going to be something that really we've already seen as we've adopted these technologies to help our incident response teams. We've seen all of our mean time to acknowledge, to triage, to resolve all have dropped down because we've leveraged these tools to help explain our data. I also think that 
AI is going to expose, you know, when you think about, uh, you know, Microsoft Copilot or you think about Google Gemini, it's going to expose, uh, when people use these tools against their enterprise data, it's going to expose a lot of access that people may not have known they had. So now you're going to be having to move kind of away from more of this sort of role-based access and systems and start driving more towards this dynamic awareness of, instead of finding, you know, does someone have access to sensitive data, yes or no, it's going to be, how do you like dynamically label that data for that role and then ensure that you've got the rules in place to manage around that. So I feel like it's going to have a, a lot of dramatic changes for how we uh, manage sensitive data, how we collect it, organize it, and then kind of acting on that and building AI in our security tooling so that we can stay, you know, uh, one step ahead of our threat actors when they try to attack us with these new, new techniques. Great insights, and John, from your seat, yeah, I mean, it's been the year of the co-pilot, not only in cyber, but in other industries too. Uh, I see uh, Gen AI being used to make the junior analysts more productive. Maybe they're using natural language to generate complex SQL queries that they could otherwise not write. Also see it being used to, when we get that result set, use Gen AI to generate a narrative in, in plain language of what that result set means. Um, and I'm interested to see kind of where it goes from there, uh, in like AI and SOAR and AI and maybe data onboarding and normalization over the next year could make uh, a lot of changes for the industry. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much. It's such a pleasure to have you on Data Cloud Now. What's next for Penny Mac and Snowflake? John, yeah. why don't we start with you? Sure, I'll, I'll touch on three topics and then let's let Cyrus expand on that. But um, what's next for us is, they started their journey with Streamlit. Uh, there's going to be more groups and, and you know, purpose-built cyber applications using Streamlit in his org. Uh, Cyrus told me that he wants to replicate the success and cost savings ad on the cyber side with some of the other IT and operations uh, types of use cases, bringing those on board and moving those use cases away from their existing logging platform. And lastly, just you know, embracing Gen AI and using that for more cyber use cases. Great to hear John Cyrus. Yeah, no, just to echo the point, you know, I feel that we're, we're really adopting a lot of the new functionality in, cloud, uh, in Snowflake. And uh, you know, I'm really excited about some of the announcements today at the keynote around uh, search and context and core, cortex you can get around that. So I think uh, we're really excited to be able to bring more of the uh, cybersecurity data to kind of get out of the business of kind of building the same undifferentiated cyber signal that everybody can just buy now and really focusing on uh, building out applications, building out capabilities that are custom to enable our business. So really, I think all of these things are going to accelerate uh, cyber teams to be more of the, the leader and responsible steward of AI and the enterprise. So we're super excited about everything that's being released and uh, you know, looking forward to keep going at it. Well, gentlemen, it's clearly all happening here at Snowflake Summit. Thank you so much for joining me on the program today. Thank you for having Thanks us. Thanks for having us, appreciate yeah. it. And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green, and this is Data Cloud Now.